Hey everybody, what's up? Cedric and CJ here. It's our wrestling commentary, and we will be reviewing G1 Climax 34, day 12. New Japan is doing their thing. And I don't know, maybe I'm just not right for this right now. I don't know. You know, there's there's a tropical depression across, and I know it's affecting us. I'm not in the best of moods. I got this weird irritation going on, something that an internal thing happening. I can never figure it out. Um, maybe, maybe I'm just not in the right mood to enjoy uh, day twelve. We did eleven earlier. Maybe, maybe I got wrestled out. I maybe know. I don't know. But so look, this starts off, and and yeah, that we'll do it probably later or tomorrow. But there's comment to comment on uh don't think i ain't, ain't, ain't seen it uh, so this is b block so it's bolton oleg versus jeff cobb this mm -hmm. is probably one of the more entertaining matches of the night oh yeah it was a good match uh, let's see after a little bit of being outclassed jeff he you know he was outside the ring he got back in delivered a loud and very believable right jab yeah and Oleg was rocked after that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. And it took Oleg some time to recover and get his wits about him. So that made it look legit. I had to mention that, you know, he put in a nice toe kick and then a double chop to the throat. That helped too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And then see Cobb used the swinging gut wrench slam. And he said, that's my fucking move. And you had noticed him saying that. Yeah. I remember when we first started watching, that's what he was doing. Yep. And now Oleg, he does it, but Cobb never touched the mat. And he got three on him, and mm -hmm. it was just amazing. Because, oh. you know, Cobb is not small. Not by a damn sight. He is a large man. And Oleg was able to do that to him. And, I, yeah, Oleg is, that's a strong dude. Mm -hmm. His core is the core. He looked like he's farm fed. Yep. Cobb took a German suplex landing at a high angle. But then at the end, Cobb won with the return tour of the islands and, and pin. And Cedar thinks Cobb could have been exhausted or concussed uh, at the end of the match. He was having trouble with his footing. I mean, like, staying on his feet, walking. There's one way to sell. There's another one. You, you might be a little messed up. Yeah. Um... Next, we get B-Block action. So, it's El Fantasma versus Konosuke Takeshita. In the opening part, they go into a slow and deliberate forearm exchange. Skipped. Just it's, skipped. I, I just not, not, no ELP. So, I don't care if he's happy, sad, determined. It's just... I, I, there's glimmers of awesome, and then he kills it. And then later, Konosuke, he's getting a table from under the ring, so we skipped. And then they looked great at the end, at the, the final minute of their match. They went back and forth, and it was hard to put somebody down. Kaneshka, uh, Takeshita won with the, the spiral falcon arrow that he calls Raging Fire, which is not a bad name. Mm -mm. But, and, you know, it looked, it looked good. Yeah. So then we get, um, let's see, Yota Suji versus Hinare. And I'm like, all right. So I'm, I was really curious to see how y'all going to do this match because Suji don't seem this type of wrestler. So, a clash of styles. Styles make matches. Um, Suji showed, no, nah, I can do that too. Yeah, he, he, he showed up for the he, he, man he, on man action. <laughs> what? So, yeah. So, a damn good match. Mm -hmm. But at the end, Yota landed a dashing counter spiff, got the 1 2 3 victory. It was a good match. Yeah. They they laid into each other. They did good. Hinari did not hold back. No. You know, and I did not see that victory coming. And I like that. I didn't know who was gonna win. That that's the beauty yeah, of it. I that's didn't. that's when a match is done right. When you don't know who's gonna win. I couldn't call it. See, that's good. Then we get B block. We got Ren Narita versus Yuya Wemura, and I was like, Yeah. Uh, and, and it didn't start off looking stupid. 
Ren so, did, did good. He messed up Yuya's knee before Yuya can even get out of his, his enter, entrance clothing. And he kept working on the leg, which was great. But instead of capitalizing on that, he, he started reverting back to low blows and that bar he's got. It's, and, and, and Nobu coming out and helping. It's like, you had him so debilitated. All you had to do was keep working it. And you could have got the pin. I mean, got the win one way or another. But no, you're going to stop the assault and just start cheating. It was just, it was, it, yeah, it was that. He had him. And <laughs> my notes was you know, kind of a good match. Um, Ren, Ren, and I, I wrote Ren bored me mostly. Yuya was his comeback kid self, but there was too much cheating, and Ren won after hitting the two handed face buster and got the pin. It's like he, he got you a nice, a nice sirloin steak and you and you grilling it and just as it hits the right temperature to be medium rare you go out into the yard get a cup of dirt and throw it on there i worked so hard <laughs> to make sure to not see things the way that some that that some of the comments go you know tal jones was talking about how ren just sucks and yada yada he just blasts and i'm like i haven't seen that so far and man, I was like, Ren got to go and prove this dude right. Man, and now, and now, now with Jones, I'm like, Ren sucks, and I don't really care to watch his matches. He, Ren had to make his douche face true. Yep, I'm like, pff, I I try to just enjoy the wrestler, the wrestling, but man, just, I was like, dude, do a move, do something. He worked his leg. He and did he well. So well. I he mean, did so well. He bro he just took away all of Yuya's offense, anything he could do. And then he said, you know what? I wrestled long enough. Let's be stupid. I'm like, come on. And look, here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you why I was in, why I wanted to enjoy this match. Ren Narita and Yuya Wemura, young lions, graduated about the same time, maybe a month or so difference, but they had many fights against each other. Mm hmm and not until one most of those that I saw. So I think they referenced that too in the a little bit, yeah. Yeah, the commentary. And so I was really looking forward to see how this is gonna go now that they've graduated and they in the freaking G one together. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, good. It, it 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 hurt my feelings. So I just looked at the phone, my phone, mm -hmm. trying to find this old clip. But um, then we get to the main event. So it's Hiroki Goto versus David Finley. And it was a decent match. But it really picked up. Now, it was, it, it was a decent match. They started off at a three-star. They stayed at roughly a three-star. And they did really good. You could see there was a vast difference in styles. They've done that with all the G1 matches. Mm-hmm. So you saw the vast different styles. You can see it was a clear face and heel. Oh yeah, very clear. The fans, they was like, "We don't like you, David." Yeah, they were very but much behind Goto. David is getting stale to me. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why David's getting stale. Because in order for him to be a heel to get booze, he's got to do the middle fingers. Yep. That's that's all he got. That's all he got. No, I, I get it. He's in Japan. Predominantly, that audience does not speak English. I get it. I understand. But it's, you can be a heel without the middle fingers. The fact that he started taking shortcuts and stuff, the fans were booing it. Yeah. There you go. Take more shortcuts. Use it. Doesn't this sound familiar? Didn't I say the exact same thing with gay kid? Yeah. Can't you show that you're a heel without... Fuck you! Every five minutes, unprompted, just out of nowhere. It's like, what is wrong with you? You got your ass. And you know what? That's about the only English the crowd understands too. Yeah. Thanks to Toby Makabe. Yeah. Togi. Togi. Yeah. So, but at least, at least Togi had personality when he said it. 
<laughs> That's true. Yeah, Tokyo had personality. It was brutal. <laughs> it was like, oh man, dude, even if you don't mean it, it still kind of hurt. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and so, it was still a good match, you know, and Goto got the fans really behind him. Mm-hmm. And Finley was like, you're not getting this GTR on me. And then Goto had to pull his arm back. And then he hit a trapped arm GTR and got the pin. Mm-hmm. Goto pulled out pretty much all the stops. The fan was chanting his name Big Match style. Yep. So I'm like, this. I was like, this dude. And I'm sitting there like, look. I, I was like, they trying. And not, I, I said he's trying to make him a champion again, maybe. And then it was like he's never had the belt and what? So you had to go look it up. He's never had the belt, and I, I thought for sure he had it once. I remember. Um, a Wrestle Kingdom, and I think this was Omega and Okada, their last one. And I swear, when they went over the, they Former showed the, champions. yeah, the pictures, Goto was up there with Makabe and Angle and Lesnar, and, and I don't even think they put Goldberg up there. I don't think he was ever champion, though. I don't think Goldberg was ever and champion. And I'm just saying, you know, Okada was up there, Keiji, Great Muta. Mm-hmm. I mean, how can a wrestler get up there twice, right? They, you know, Sasaki, you know, a lot of them. I swear I saw Goto Go-to. up there. But at, but what I want to explain is when during Goto's tenure in the early career, Tanahashi was the man. Yes. And then midway through career, Okada, Okada. was the man. Yep. But he really didn't, get, he really never had a shot. And then I said, now they're in flux. Yeah. You know, Okada's gone. The golden boy that no one liked is gone. Tanahashi, he, he, if his knees were okay, he'd be all right. But he can't go anymore like that. Sonata had it for the longest reign ever, but then he got hurt. Naito had it then. Then they let Goon have it. I would have gave it. I would have just thrown it in Goto's lap before giving it to Goon. <laughs> just threw it outside. I mean, that's about what. That, that, that's how that. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, look. Throw it outside, it's going to land. Whoever run out there and get it first is a new champion. I do that before giving it to Goon. <laughs> Whoever run outside and get it first. That's it. Yeah. Get the locker room, throw it out there. All right, whoever get it first. No guy gene. Y'all go. Go. Make it a scavenger hunt. Yep. Here's the map. <laughs> and you got to find pieces. Whoever find the most pieces win. <laughs> Something. Just anything but give it to, just give it to Goon. Yeah. Just That's just me, though. Uh, and obviously you too. Me too. Maybe not to my extremes, but you know. And, and they are to your extremes because they, they bastardized the belt and they gave it to him just like they bastardized the belt when they gave it to Jericho. Uh, like fucking vanity projects. Yep. I I I, I mostly enjoy the main event, and mm-hmm. then Goto he does his in match promo and he's very conversational with the crowd. Yeah, I like that. And then they show his kids out there. And I was like, man, these kids are young. Mm-hmm. The boy can't be old, no, no older than 12. Can't be. Can't be no older than 12. And he's like, you know, your dad tried hard in the ring, so you got to do better with your homework. And the girl covered her face. The crowd got a, got a good pop from the crowd. Mm-hmm. And they show Goto being a family man. The crowd's ch- chanting his name like it's the end of a big match. And, and it kind of was. And I'm like, oh, man, if New Japan can't use this to boost him and get that belt, they're going to look like heels. Yeah. Oh, man. You don't want to book matches so bad that your company looks like the bad guy because that's what happened with WWE. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't want to do that. But, yeah. Yeah. But Goto, the family man, his son, his daughter there. And I'm like, neither one of them look like him. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. And look that close. The girl what? had her face covered half the time. I can see them. The they boy got them. glasses on. Look, even the young Goto didn't look like them. He, he need to get some checked. I'm just saying. He's on the road a lot. You know, people get lonely. They get a little lonely. Can you stop putting the bad, the, the the bad mojo on Goto and his family. Goto fine. Go Goto's fine. I don't know about that wife. 
I'm just saying. You know, I don't know what y'all think out there. You think there's been a little adultery? Oh, come on. It's not even remotely important. Well, why not? Look, hey, if you, if, how you are going to find out the answer? Well, they ain't going to do that. That'd be no. embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, you got this, this guy that's putting on the family thing and you're going to boost the company like that, or at least make it look really good. And then let's say he uses that family thing to win the title and he find out them kids ain't his. I do not know how you can, I couldn't. What? Yeah, yeah, you couldn't give him the belt like that either. Oh, damn belt! I'm talking oh, that's about the what kids. What were you trying to say? <laughs> oh, you couldn't. Oh, see, you couldn't keep him with the kids either. What? No. What? So what, what I wasn't saying? able to compare the, how the kids look, and he looked that quickly. Ain't like they paused side by they side. They showed the kids like at nausea. They wouldn't stop showing them. Most of the time, it was at a distance. The boy does not have his father's head. Not the head shape. Not the hair color. I don't know what's going on. He ain't got, I didn't see one facial feature that said, yeah, that's Goto. Now, with the little girl, there's a slight chance. But in general, genetically, this is literal scientific fact, girls' faces usually favor the father. Usually. So, so you know, then the boy probably looks like his mama. Mm, and mama or the, or the juice deliverer. I'm just saying. I'd I, I be looking. Stop I'd, it. What? Just stop it. <laughs> <laughs> all right you know i'm just saying you know if, if that woman end up missing and the son is gone too you you know what's up what's go what's go 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 to gonna say like oh like look, look i ain't hurting my kids because they ain't mine i just left they ain't got nothing to do with me but if i'm the dude that they that they belong to oh my goodness it's, it was no way to compare the way these kids look to him and the brief time that we saw him they put them kids on screen so damn much they could have had their own match. Uh, uh, that's bull. I'm not. Look, anyone listening, go on back and watch. They put them kids up there for a while, hey, or I maybe, know? or maybe my ability to stare and see certain details in a short amount of time is that epic. Maybe cause most of the time they were at a distance. It was right there. It was not at a distance. It was right there at the screen, man. Anyway, she's going to find it and find wow. herself to be wrong. Like y'all go ahead and look and see what y'all think. You know, but I think y'all, do y'all think Goto should get a divorce? What you if know, he's not just, even married? What if he already left a woman? Are well, you trying to get ahead of the curve? Y'all going to have to ignore him. Damn it. Are you going to ignore me? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to ignore this, this last minute of conversation. Look, we're going to get on up out of here, all right? But I do think the man needs to just, you know, count his losses and get rid of the cheating woman. Because that's, that's, that's what's going on. So this has been Cedric and Cedric from CR Wrestling Commentary. New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 Climax 34. Day 12. And with that, we want y'all to be cool, be chill, be safe. And make sure your kids are yours. Damn. And so with that, we'll see you next time.